Hello, I'm Olsen Henry 2, Foxtrot Tango Golf, and today we are looking inside and testing these little talky walkies. I got the Paw Patrol version because let's pander to the fury. Folks, so these are like sold by little, and there's no mention about channels or frequency bands or anything like that, so this might be something else than PMR. But 446, the 446 megahertz European PMR band. There's some sort of instructions. And these are also in French and I think Italian in addition to English. And German and all kinds of other languages. These are made by Lexibook SA from France. So definitely European. So only an on-off switch and PTT. So this might be something interesting. Because if it's a single channel one, it's either on PMR channel one or then on something actually interesting like we like a low VHF okay for bay three bay trees needed okay let's pop in some bay trees and see how it sounds like the back also does not men mention anything about the frequency test that this is model TW11 Papa Alpha dash one by Lexibook Limited. Yeah, that tells us exactly nothing. Oh, hey, is the screw captive? Oh, nice. It's captive. I don't know if it's by design or by accident, but that's nice. You don't lose it immediately. I think the threads also just died. No lead or anything when you're transmitting. Yeah, and for this so it's 445.993, so it's like, likely on the lowest PMR 445's frequency. Let's tune in. Yeah, this is PMR. I don't know what I was expecting, but yeah, it's PMR. Good old PMR 446. Okay, let's turn, look inside of it. I'm hoping that there's some actually interesting chipset inside of it instead or more like a chipset that I can actually find information on because it is after all a UHF radio not like low band UHF like I think uh, McDonald's Buzz Lightyear toy was one of those it was 40.68 megahertz and ran AM with a super regenerative a usual super region receiver, single trans transistor transmitter, two or three transistor receiver, really simple, single channel crystal control thing. But one can always hope, but because this is European and little is pretty really European, it's not audio or anything, so this is the PMR446. But it's still a single C frequency. So I'm interested in seeing how it's built. Okay, let's just open it up without completely ruining it. Okay. Small speaker, surprisingly large microphone. Usual spring me. 
Spring antenna. Nothing on this side. Tango Whiskey 11. Same as the model. Oh boy, let's see. Oh, this is made by Becken also. BK4802. Some random small microcontroller and a small crystal. With no markings. Then we just go from the chip. I think that's a voltage regulator. And we just go from the backend chip. Yeah, series inductor to a P-type low-pass filter. I guess that's enough to make it compliant, which is pretty neat. If we were wanted to measure the output power, we'd desolder this antenna, because this looks like a 50 ohm pi filter and not an antenna match, because this is likely about 50 ohms as is. And then just solder a coax here and put it into my spectrum analyzer and see how it goes. We might actually do that next. Okay, so I soldered in this SMA and removed the original spring antenna. We have fresh batteries in it, so let's go to the spectrum analyzer and key it up. So, it gives us plus 3.7 dBn, which is almost... 3 milliwatts. The chipping in this thing is a Becken BK4802 PG, which I think is the 16 pin as SOP version, because their official site says that there is a QFN32, which is for which you can actually find a datasheet online and a few others. But this is extremely clean, like no harmonics at the minus 60 dBm level here. Just this one spur, which is minus 58 dB down from the carrier frequency, which is really nice. Let's put the analyzer a bit lower so that we can see if there is any other spurs down there. Nope. Let's actually put it a bit more below it so that we can see if there if that spur is symmetrical. Okay that one is a bit higher. And we can now see that there is something up there. But it's a tiny one. So yeah, it's remarkably clean. And a really simple one. According to the datasheet, this 8-pin device here, which has been painted or scratched clean because there are no markings and it's a bit dull. So that might actually be a an I2C EEPROM instead of a microcontroller because this can also operate by loading the channels from an EEPROM. So I'll do an, a second video about hacking this and making it do other things because this is gonna have an I2C uh, port on it and it can be programmed with that to do anything from uh, this is a Three band radio, actually no four band chip. So it goes from twenty on the lowest band. It goes from ten twenty four to thirty two megahertz. So CB and ten meters. It does six meters and the forty megahertz and forty nine megahertz license free. It does two meters. It does seventy centimeters and. There's a data sheet that you can actually find for it. So, and in the data sheet, you also see the same 
things. Annoyingly, it has 12.5 and 25 kilohertz split, so no 10 kilohertz or 1 kilohertz or 5 kilohertz, so you can't do most of the normal humband frequencies. It's a pretty use, usual buffing style of things, but it has built in frequencies, which I think this. Reduced pin count one lacks, which is why there is a need I do see from. So the 32 pin version has two CB, some 40 megahertz, some 49 megahertz. I think this is the Chinese band, the Worldwide LDP. I think this is in UK or elsewhere, license free. Weird 70 centimeters frequency, 70 centimeters PM, channel one PMR. This I don't know, and F two FRS frequencies and one I, which I think might be the Australian slash New Zealand uh, UHF CB. But yeah, there's definitely some hacking potential in here. So I did not waste all my money. I was hoping that this would be a 40 megahertz one because it was only one frequency. And who would bother putting a full PMR handset in there with no display? Oh well, these guys from France. Well, I'll do a separate video about hacking this further because I just... I'll remove this, maybe cut this one off and put an antenna connector here to make my life easier. Or just completely remove this module from the radio and use it separately. And Take a look at making this control by Arduino or something and check if this is an EEPROM and if it is I'll dump it. But yeah, I'm expecting that I'll have to throw in an Arduino to control it, but making a quad bander from a 14 euro pair of PMR handsets is a really fun idea. So anyway, this was Ozone Henry 2, Foxtrot Tango Golf. And don't forget to like and absolutely subscribe so that if and when I make the hacking video about this one, you'll find it. And to make sure that you find it, click the bell icon so you get a notification. I don't upload that often so you don't really get that badly spammed. So anyway, this was Ocean Henry 2, Foxtrot Tango Golf.